Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you? I found. I find. I teach. Good. Cansada. Cansada. Ah, oh, sí. Llegando cansado. Ay, sí. Así pasa, verdad. Sí. Apenas empezamos la semana ya estamos cansados. Sí. Es la edad, ya la tan atada de año. No. A todos nos pasa, creo. Yo creo que todo sí, es que la, la vida es uh, de mover y mover y mover. Así es. Pero nos gusta ese movimiento también. Sí. <risa> si no, no fuera vida. Sí, sí, estoy de acuerdo. Estoy muy de acuerdo. Ok, hello everybody. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? Veo algunos conectados, pero no sé si están allí. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? How are, how is everybody? Good teacher. Thank you. All right. Very good. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, how, how was your day at work? How was your day at work? Heavy. Heavy day? Yes. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, well, the good thing is that we only have three more days of, of work, right? So that, that's good, right? And then we have the weekend, right? So we got to have something to look forward to. Okay, yes. Um, all right. Well, we're going to start with our attendance. Okay. Um, Give me a moment. My computer is very slow today, as usual. <laughs> okay. Hola, chicos. Um, veo que muchos de ustedes están conectados, pero no tengo idea si están ahí porque no tienen cámara encendida, eh, no saluda. Entonces, no sé. ¿Están allí? ¿No están ahí? Déjenme ver sus caritas bonitas. Eso, ahí vamos. Ya empiezo a ver más caritas. Todavía me faltan algunos. Ok. Acuérdense, chicos, que um, del compromiso que hemos adquirido, ¿verdad? Um, yo sé que hay momentos en que o sea, hay cosas que suceden, ¿verdad? De repente, uh, pues también me informan, mira, mire, teacher, esto, esto pasa, ¿verdad? Y, y yo lo entiendo. Um, entonces, eh, así que yo entiendo, pero por la mayor parte, pues debemos de mantener nuestra camerita encendida, ¿verdad? Para que estemos, eh, para, para que estemos todos tranquilo, ¿verdad? Así que, um, así que si me pueden ayudar con eso, sería magnífico. Ok. Bye. Entonces, eh, let's start with attendance. Ok, so I have Alejandra. Alejandra. Alejandra is not here? No? Okay. Okay. Um, Cristina. Cristina. No, Cristina. 
No. Okay. Ani? Present teacher. Okay, very good. And Mari? Present. Okay, very good. Welcome. And Carolina? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Carolina. Thank you, teacher. And Christy? Present. All right, welcome, Christy. And Herson? Present. Okay, very good. Karina? Present. Okay, very good. Welcome. Linda? Linda? No, está Linda. Julia? Julia? Okay. Marlene? Present. Okay, very good. Maida? Maida? Okay. And Miguel? Okay, welcome, Miguel. Nelson? Nelson? No, no Nelson. Okay. Uh, what about Norma? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Norma. Uh, Olga? Olga? Me mandó mensaje que viene manejando. Ah, es cierto, sí, gracias. Okay. Rafael? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Sinaida? Sinaida? No, Sinaida. What about uh, Suleima Rodriguez? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Suleima. Argelia? Present teacher. Okay, good. Um, Nancy? Nancy? No, Nancy. Juan Carlos? Juan Carlos? Okay. Uh, what about Karen? Present. Okay, welcome, Karen. Thank you. And what about uh, Suleima Milgar? Suleima Milgar? No. Okay, Ka Carla? Okay, welcome, Carla. Okay, very good. Um, okay, so what we're, so um, let me just make sure that I haven't, I haven't uh, missed anybody. I didn't hear Alejandra, Cristina, Elisa, ah, you are here, okay. Who is a Cristina, okay, good, excellent. Um, and I didn't hear Linda. Right? No, Linda, right? I didn't hear Maida and Olga and Zenaida and Nancy, Juan Carlos and Suleima Melgar. Right? Oh, I can, uh, I can see Juan Carlos is connecting. Hello, Juan Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. 
Uh, nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> Likewise. Um, Juan Carlos, do you have a camera? Uh, uh, a moment, please. Okay, okay. okay. Chicos, um, acuérdense que necesitamos tener nuestra camarita encendida. Ahorita solo veo que la mitad tiene encendida su cámara. Por favor, colaborenme ahí con eso. Yo sé que a veces estamos eh, que recién llegando a la casa y yo lo entiendo eso, ¿verdad? Pero, uh, pero a veces um, resulta que muchos eh, lo tienen así casi toda la clase. Entonces... Um, un momento, pues yo lo entiendo, ¿verdad? Es, es importante. Es importante, pues um, también ser un poco flexible, pero, pero sí eh, asegurémonos que, que sí lo tengamos por la mayor parte del tiempo, nuestras cameritas encendidas, porque eh, no, es, no es algo que, que podamos, o sea, no es porque yo quiero estarlos molestando, sino que es porque, pues, esos son los requisitos que nos piden Sefor, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, ok. Um, ok. All right, guys. So what we are going to do is um, we're going to continue from yesterday's class um, that we, we have. Um, por cierto... Ah, so, chicos, solamente quería mencionarles algo. Um, si ustedes quieren uh, mandarme uh, o sea, el, algún mensaje en privado, pueden hacerlo también. Así que sol, solamente tienen que cambiar ahí um, a quién se lo mandan, el mensajito de chat. Y me lo pueden mandar directamente a mí si quieren para, si quieren eh, expresar algo um, en privado, ¿verdad? Pueden hacer eso. Ok. Ok. Ah, uh, by the way, guys, I wanted to thank you. You did an awesome job um, finishing off your, um, your platform, the exercises that you did on, in the platform. In fact, I noticed some people finished unit two, which is wonderful. I noticed there were like some 100% on uh, in unit two, which is great. And I also noticed that there was, um, I also noticed there was, so there were some that were even doing unit three. So I was very impressed <laughs> and surprised. Um, so that's great. So thank you very much for making sure. Oh, and there were other people that had finished the midterm too. So I was very impressed. That's excellent. That means that you guys are working as you should be working. Um, so I, I thank you for that. And you will see how that in the end is going to pay off. So that's excellent guys. So what we're going to do, um, Give me a moment. Oh, by the way, any questions about the platform at this moment? That something you want to ask about? No? Nothing you want to ask about? It's all clear? Teacher, yo dejé una sin de la que teníamos que entregar ayer porque no me, no me agarró la número 5 de la 2.8, creo. Eso no me la agarró. Ok. Uh, you want to tell me in English? Okay. I left one exercise. Uh -huh. Because the platform yeah. didn't accept me the answer. It didn't accept the answers. Yes, I put different option and didn't accept. Oh, uh, what, 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 the, which one is that 2.5? Or which one? Which was the five? 
and uh, let me let me check which so that I can I can help you. Anybody else had any problems with the platform? No? Nobody else has problems with the platform? Okay, all right. Okay, in that case, uh, what we're gonna do is um, we are going to um, start with the PowerPoint presentation while we get, uh, well, while we figure out what's the problem with the platform. Okay, so please tell me if you can see Give me a moment. Give me a moment, please, teacher. Okay. Um, I will. I will. We'll go back to that. But how oh, about okay. if we we continue, and then when you find it, you we can we can address that problem. Okay. okay Thank you. you. Okay. All right. So please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Can you see it or no? Yes, the chair. Oops. Um, okay. So, um, staff. So the. So this is uh, the staff meeting practice. Uh, staff meeting practice. Practice. Um, it's your facilitator is Jessica uh, Guerrero. And uh, the it's intermediate one, it's class number eleven. Okay, so um, let's take a look. So remember this. This was the speaking activity from yesterday. Remember this. Do you remember this or no? Yes. Everybody remembers? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, do you need, um, do you need um, more time? No, hold on, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Okay, these were our, our, yeah. So um, we were going to present today. Are we ready? Yes, no, maybe, when then? Yeah, we're ready. For the last presentation about steps. Uh huh. Yes, I think yes. Yeah. We're ready. Bye. Necesito que me digan, chicos. Necesito que haya Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is we're going to start presenting and I'm going to do it in the order 
in the order that I had you in the groups yesterday. So, okay. So, uh, group number one was um, uh, Annie, Julia, Maida, and Norma. Okay. So, we will start. We can start listening to you. Teacher, eh, solo estuve con Norma. Eh, aquí me parecen que, que habían cuatro integrantes. Sí, pero yo no vi a las demás compañeras, solo vi a Norma. Hmm. Solo con ella estuvimos discutiendo. Yo tengo aquí, no sé si Normita se ha, se ha conectado. Sí, aquí estoy. Ok. Eh, no sé si nosotros dos creo que estuvimos, ¿verdad? No vi a las demás. Sí, solo nosotros. Mm. Oh. Bueno. Whatever. Ok. Nosotros, bueno, yo voy a decir, escogí la tres. Eh, eh, voy a decir las mías. First, eh, uh, first, coma, ¿verdad? Com. Apologies mm -hmm. offer uh, for audit funds. Uh, 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 after that, comma, offer clients the solution. Finally, refund on the money or uh, thank you all the dish. Uh, First, apologies for the delights. Second, comma, offer a discount on the next Porsche. After, finally, refund of money. Only teacher. Okay. More, more or less. Another situation? Another uh, situation? A number five. Me, teacher. Sorry, before, just just give me a moment. So, um, uh, Annie, what is that situation? Uh, three. Uh, ya le di. Three. Uh, three, 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 three. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, three is a uh, customer says he funds a top pick in his food and the, he will not pay for the food. Okay, good, good. A toothpick. Uh -huh. Toothpick. Yes. Uh -huh. to 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 <laughs> toothpick. Uh -huh. Toothpick. Yes. Toothpick. And a customer, uh, number one, a customer is hungry because his food was not delivered on time. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, sounds good. Only. Normita de las cinco. The situation number uh, five. First, explain that the system is having a problem. After that, offer them a drink for waiting. Then if the system continue to fail, make the invoice, invoice behind and ask for help. Finally, deliver the invoice and apology. Okay. okay, good. And the other ones, there were because there were three. Me dijeron dos, ¿verdad? Tres, teacher. Yo dije dos y ella dijo uno. Ah, okay, okay. Ahí está, perdón. No, no me había percatado eso. Okay, very good, very good. Round of applause. Excellent, excellent. Okay, very good. Now let's go to uh, group number two which is Mari, Carolina, Gerson, and Olga. Okay, okay. teacher, I will be present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I need, I need permission. Necesito permiso para presentar, teacher. Oh, 
No, ok, yo, yo sí, no, no, no había, había percatado a qué, a qué se refería. Ok, go for it. Um. Ok, Caroline. Ok. Number one. Uh, bueno, choose uh, one of the situ situation below and list and descri describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Number one, a customer in Hungary because his food was not delivered on time. Uh, step one, first apology, apologies uh, to the customer. Step two, second, talk to the manager to give you a discount. Step three, letter, Tell to the chef about why the delay. Step four, then treat the customer with more kindness so that he forgets the anger. Step five, finally apologies and guide and, and gives him a free drink. Okay, thanks, Caroline. Next. Sorry, I'm just going to stop for a moment. Um, can you go to the back? Um, Caroline? Uh, hold on. Um, Caroline, how do you pronounce this? Caroline? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh-huh. Can, can you pronounce this? Or maybe I, I may, I'm going to change the color. Maybe. It, can you pronounce this? Apologize. 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 Yes. Ah, OK. Apologize. Yes. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry, Thank I, just you. Had to, I just had to stop you there because um, that word is probably going to come up more frequently with other groups. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that the word is apologize. Thanks, teacher. Okay, Marisol. Yes. A customer is very ag aggressive to one of your employees. Step number one, first comma, ask the customer what the problem is. Step number two, then comma, ask, to the, cli to ask the client to call, call down so you can find, find out what the problem was. Person. Okay, step three, let her give him a courtesy starter or drink. Step four, after that, give priority to the customer order before the others. And step five, finally, apologize again to the client and assure him that the problem will not occur again to the next visit. And Olga is is driving, and I I I read. Yes, yes I'm ready. Number five: A group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is is too slow. Step one: First, open another cashier. Step two: After that. Talk to the employee. Step three, then give him a break. 
step, step four. Next, give him more training. And step five, finally, assign another cashier. Finish, teacher. Okay, very good. Round of applause. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Next, we have um, group number three Christina, Carla, Nancy, and Stephanie. Good evening. Um, I start. Okay. Um, okay. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Fears call the, the customer and confirm that the order was dispatched. Second, apologies for the delay. After that, the delivery man confirms the other finally the food is delivered. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Grand applause. Oh, sorry. That's not it, right? You're you're still you still have one more, right? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Continue. Uh, next, number two. Mm -hmm. um, a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Uh, first, the employee must remain calm, then call the manager. After that, the employee delivers and the manager apologizes uh, and, final, and finally gives the customer a solution. Okay. Okay, is that it? Ah, okay, okay. I don't have my notebook near. I don't stay in my house. Okay, so um, does the other, no. does somebody else have it? Teacher. Uh-huh. Me, and uh, number five. A group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too is low. Um, first, the manager apologizes for the lay. Later, the manager takes them away from the cashier to prevent them from not coming back and offers them a snack or dream uh, to um, uh -huh, a snack or, or dream, entertain them. Later, the cashier uh, apologizes. Then the cashier explains the problem and after that, as for time to resolve, only that teacher. Okay, good, very good. How do you say, um, pedir disculpas? Apologize. 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 Yes, apologize, okay? Apologize, I, thank I, you teacher. I want everybody to practice that because I've, I've been hearing a lot of um a lot of difficulties with that word so everybody repeat apologizes apologizes everybody apologizes apologize apologize okay i heard two people everybody apologizes <laughs> apologizes apologizes okay again apologizes Apologize. 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 Good. Good. The stress is on the second syllable. A pa apologizes. Okay. Apologize. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. 
Okay. Um, okay. Next. Um, okay. Uh, so that's it, right? Those are the three? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Round of Thank applause. You. Excellent. Very good. Um, let's continue then. Let's have it. Um, next is Alejandra, Linda, Miguel, and Nelson. Okay, I, I start uh, first, uh, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Uh, first, talk with customers and ask for keeping calm. Second, enable another cash register. Uh, after that, give pri priority priority, priority. To, the elder, to the elderly people and pregnancy woman. And finally, apologizes with customers. Okay, very good. Pregnant women. In this case, Preg would be pregnant. Pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Pregnant women. Okay. Okay. Very good, very, very good. Okay, round of applause, excellent. Okay. Next. Compañeros. Number four, a customer is calling, upset because he has spy the wrong delivery order. And first, he has said the order, they apologize for involuntary mistake. And after that, uh, the customer used to be always was this order to the risky delivery or return of pain. And finally, uh, offer a promotion. Sorry, what was the last, the last thing you said? I didn't really understand very well. The last part? Can you repeat the last part? Mm, finally. Finally. Mm -hmm. uh, after that. Finally. Repeat. Finally, to verify delivery or return of payment. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Okay. That's three, right? Yes, right? Alejandra. O falta. Falta Alejandra. Falta Alejandra. Pero al Alejandra no está. ¿Verdad? No está. Eh Okay, ¿alguien quiere hacer la de Alejandra? Chicos, ¿quieren hacer la de Alejandra o cómo? ¿Cómo van a hacer? El number five, six, six, con. After that, uh, enable another service box, uh, customer service. And finally, the ready to the other on service. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Brown applause. Excellent. Okay. All right, let's continue with group number five. Karina, Marlene, 
Rafa and Sinaida. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 I choose the sentence number one. A customer is hungry because his food was not delivered on time. The first apologizes to the customer. Second, change service dynamic. Then, train stuff more. After that, further train my process. And finally, serving customers with patience and dedication. Marlene. Hello. Okay. Um, my case is a uh, number four. A uh, customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Um, first, I apologize for the wrong order. Then I ask what is wrong in your order or what is the problem? After that, I can take correct order and deliver, deliver it again. Then we can send an extra order for your problem. And finally, we say that the order is around uh, five minutes because we give it priority and a thousand apologies again. We give it what? Sorry, you said we give it what? We give it priority. Oh, priority, priority. Uh huh. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And the next one? This Me, one teacher. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. I select the a customer is very aggressive to one of our employees. The first, uh, I apologize. Apologize. For the case. Apology. No, apologize. 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 The first, I apologize. Uh, the second, remove remove the employees for, from the customer view. One moment, please, my dog. Okay, no problem. ¿Qué quiere también presentar? Quiere ayudarle. I'm sorry. That's uh, After, after that, uh, after then, excuse me, after then, listen to the complaint, also explain to the client that it is not necessary to be aggressive with the staff and personal, personalis, personalis, personalis. No sé cómo se dice personalizarme, pero en inglés, personalis, the service. Personalize. 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 Yes, the stress is on the first yeah. level. Personalize. Okay. After work, if they continue to be rude and aggressive, call the security team to help me. And finish, create, create the report and send it to the general manager and night manager for them to finish the process. Okay. Only that Very good, round of applause. Excellent. 
Okay. So that, that was three, right? Si no me equivoco? That was three? Uh, yes. Yes. Sí, sí. yes, right? Okay, very good, very, very good. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the last, this is the last group. The last group is composed of a, a Cristina, Karen, and Suleima Rodriguez. Ya pasamos, Ficha. Ya pasamos, Ficha. Somos como el número tres. ¿Cuál es el número tres? Tres o cuatro, sí, ya, Ficha. Ah, ah. Que estaba su ley o oh, Estefan, Cristina, Estefan y mi persona. ¿Qué grupo no ha presentado? No, Karen, Ana Cristina. Ah, ajá. ajá. No, por eso, Cristina. Ana Cristina, Karen uh -huh. y Zuleima. Sí. Vale, entonces, ¿qué grupo no he presentado? Hagámoslo así de simple. Our group teacher. Huh? Our group. I was with Nancy and Carolina. Ah, okay. There you go. Nancy again. Carolina. Hmm. Qué raro. <laughs> Me parece otro grupo acá. Bueno, ah, pues, ok. Can, can, ok, bueno, lo importante es que, ok. Go for it. Uh -huh. Ok. We're ready. Ready to hear you. Nancy, you can say the first one, please. Who's starting? Who's starting? Chicos? Big picture. Number one, the uh, first, first, the other, second, follower of process, the third, the other, before being shipping, then verify the delivery time to arrive and final. The and the order on time, leaving the customer. Okay, you finished? Yes. Yeah. Uh, next. Okay. Okay. All right, next. Okay. At the, at the table with the manager into the employees there. Customer, the and the train, run stop, find a service of from the employees. Y, y no sé si hay una palabra. 
Okay. Um, all right. So you finished? I'm you finished, Nancy? Say, Nancy, you're finished? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, continue then. Let's continue. Okay. A group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. First, take a look if the cashier is having some problems with the operating system. Second, open another cash register. Then give the option to pay in credit card. Uh, next, split the customer who will pay with credit card. And finally, the payment will be prompt. Okay, very good. Okay, next. That's it, right? That was actually three, right? That was three, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. all right, very good, excellent, bravo. Very good. Okay, guys, so I think that was it. Those were all the groups, very good, okay. Some things I, I noticed, um, again, I'm going to repeat this word and I'm gonna write it in the chat because I was still hearing a bit of problems with this word. Okay, there it is. Okay, so the word is apologize. 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 Everybody, apologize. 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 Yes. apologize. apologize. Exactly. Very good. So th that was a word that was coming up a lot, but I was hearing people still having problems with it. Be very careful. It's apologize. Apologize. Mm -hmm. Okay. So be careful about that. The other thing is that um, after, after we use, because it's steps to take, we're going to be using the imperative. What is the imperative? The imperative is when the verb is in the original form. You don't mm -hmm. change it. So, for example, with apologize, it would just be apologize, not apologizes or apologizing or apologized. No, nothing like that. It's just apologize, the simple form. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you could say, um, finally, or but, but I said, then, comma. Um, apologize, apologize to, to the customer. Okay, like that. Then apologize to the customer. So notice you say apologize, not apologizes. It says then comma apologize to the customer. Okay, do you see that? You do not put any S or ING or, or ED, nothing. Okay, is that clear for everybody? Okay. Yeah? Okay, very good, excellent. Very, very good, everybody. Did an excellent job. What I'm gonna do before I continue with our next activity, I'm actually gonna take the attendance because it's almost gonna be nine o'clock and um, I don't wanna, I, I want us to be right on time, okay? So let's do that. So Alejandra? Alejandra? No? Okay. Uh, Cristina. Okay, very good. Um, Annie? Present teacher. Okay, very good. 
Um, Mari? Present. Very good. Um, um, Carolina? Present teacher. Very good. Christy? Present. Okay, good. Herson? Present. Okay, excellent. Karina? Present. Good. Linda? Present teacher. Okay, very good. And um, Julia? Julia? Okay. Mm. Um, Marlene? Excellent. Excellent, thank you. Maida? Maida? No, Maida. Miguel? Excellent. Nelson? Nelson? No, Nelson. Uh, Norma? Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Olga? Present teacher. Excellent. Rafa? Present teacher. Wonderful. Sanaida? Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Um, Suleima Rodriguez? Okay, very good. Um, Argelia? Present teacher. Okay, very good. And Nancy? Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Carlos? Present teacher. Great. Um, Karen? Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Suleima Milgar? Present teacher. Excellent. Carla? Present. Okay. In Wilbur? No. Okay. All right. Excellent, guys and girls. Um, okay. So we're going to move on to the next activity. Hmm. Hold on, Sima. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna do, this is your turn. So now it's your turn to show us what you can do. First, you're gonna work individually. Okay, that's the first thing you gotta do. Second, write a 10 line paragraph where you describe a process you have to follow in your workplace. So think about a process that you have in your workplace. It can be related to, um, a, to specifically the type of job that you do, okay? So I'm sure you have to follow in your job, you have to follow a certain process. When do you think of all the steps? Use transition expressions from the box, right? So you're gonna be using first, second, next, later, after that, afterwards, finally, okay? Work in pairs in your assigned breakout room, and then you're gonna share a paragraph with your classmate. So right now, I'm gonna give you a chance to write the paragraph. It's a 10 line paragraph. Okay, so not too small, but not too big. Okay, and you're gonna be using transition words. Do you understand what to do? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. No? So you're writing a 10 line paragraph about um, the thing that you have to do, a process that you have to do in your workplace, any process, okay? And then you have to, you have to make sure that you use transition words. So first you do this, right? So first, blah, blah, blah. Second, blah, blah, blah. Later, blah, blah, blah. After that, blah, blah, blah. 
finally, blah, 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 okay? So 10 line paragraph for a procedure in your workplace, okay? Does, does that make sense? Is that clear for everybody? Okay, thank you. Yeah? Okay, perfect. So um, we are going to give you a chance right now to, um, to work by yourself individually. And um, we are going to give you a chance also to ask questions, right? So um, we're going to, let's say work in silence, but you can open up your microphone to ask any questions, vocabulary or grammar questions or anything you wanna ask, okay? And then we're gonna be sharing it in our break in rooms. All right, so go for it. Remember, you can always ask me questions. Something's not clear, let me know.
Are you sure you don't have any questions? Anything you want to ask me? Okay, ¿cómo vamos? You finished? Excellent, okay. Are we almost finished too, the rest of you? Okay, are we ready?
Yeah. Do you need more time? Do you need more time or no? Everybody's finished? Give me five minutes, please. Five, five more minutes? One, one minute. Oh, okay, one more minute. Yeah, because I was gonna say five is a lot. Okay, one more minute then, go for it. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. I am finished, Tisha. Excellent. Okay. Is that true for everybody? Everybody's finished? Is everybody finished? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, great. Uh, we are going to then do precisely what we have in mind. We're going to go to, uh, we're going to work with a partner and you're going to be sharing your sentence. Well, actually, you know what? I don't, I don't want to do with a partner. Let's do it in, in groups of three. I think it will be better. Okay, so let's work with groups of three and um, let's uh, get you guys to share. Okay. Um, and I'm going to give you, um, I'll give you about six minutes, about two minutes per, per person, okay? So here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Important. Then I check the bank accounts. Finally, I match the accounting record. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Just give, give me a moment. Uh, what was the last one? Can you repeat? Annie, could you repeat? Yeah. Can you repeat the last one? Yo no había dicho nada, pero. No, no, no. Ani, Ani. Ah, no, Las mías. Sí, es que Cristina, Cristina fue la que habló. Yo a decir los ah, iba. Perdón, perdón, ajá, ajá. perdón. Entonces uh, viene a última hora. Entonces, okay, Cristina, go for it. The last one. When I get up to work the first thing, I do start on my computer. My computer then I check the email and answer very important 
then accept the bank account, and finally uh, mark the accounting records. Good, good, excellent. Now you did it correctly. It's just that before you said finally, and so this is finally, 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 finally. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Okay. So I just want my. In my case, first, first check I mail, second call a client, after that I make calls, then visit clients, finally present a size report. Report. Um, in my case, first I need to print the list of the products. Second, I'm I'm going to choose which executive executive. After this, I review the pa paperwork that needs to be done, invoice or receipts. Finally, I deliver the documents to the dispatchers uh, so that they take it in each delivery. Like that. Okay. Um, okay. I don't mm -hmm. finish, but I read the uh, first. I get up my work, then I need to open the program system in the computer. After that, I check my email, then I supervise. Supervising the personnel. Later, I did the report. Next, I report the daily sales daily. And ah, it's only that. <laughs> to finish it. Um, but it's different the things that I do because I'm in the um, I'm with the operation operation for total taxes. That's the name for the company. But sometimes I need to um, I need to I need to do uh, the technical support or tax uh, questions for the franchisee prepares or the customer. So I do a lot of things in the, in my work. Okay. Uh, tell me why the payment is the Bitcoin or only cash? No, only cash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe in the future we're going to use the Bitcoin, but. Solo un Bitcoin tengo que me dio el mi price. For me, for me, it's very difficult to uh, use the. Uh, mm. Bitcoin. Difficult? Difficult? Yes. But did know. you get the, the $30 that the... Okay, very good. So everybody had a chance to, um, to share their answers, right? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Any questions about the pronunciation? Yes, I have a question for ausencia. Ausencia? Absence. 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 Ah, okay. Yes. 
Absence. Absence. Absences. 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 Yes, absences. Correct. Uh huh. Very good. Any other questions that you have? Yeah. 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 Ejecución, ¿cómo se diría? E ejecución. Ejecución. Ajá. Execution. Eh, es que yo digo que eh, after I have break down the report the day of execution. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. So repeat it after me. Exe. Execution. Es que no le veo, perdón, no le veo su, sus labios. No, 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 San Negro. Execution. Ah, pero ya me olvidé. Repeat it, please. Execution. 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 Fusion. Yeah, it's, like it's not fusion. It's not cool. It's Q. Uh -huh. Fusion. Execution. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Good. 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 Anything else? No. Okay. All right. Let's continue then. Um. All right, what we're gonna do, let's continue here. Okay, so we did we did this activity. Now it's time for us to do this. We're gonna practice the conversation here. But before that, we're gonna be discussing these two questions. Is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? And who, who, who here has a manual in your workplace? for procedures. Do you have a manual like you there with for procedures or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah, everybody does. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you think the manual can be improved? Is there any way that we can improve the manual? Can we improve the manual at your workplace or no? It's not, it's not possible to improve it. What do you think? Do, do you understand the question or no? Yes, teacher. I think no. the, the manual maybe will be improved. Because uh, each day, um, puede cambiar, puede cambiar algún proceso. It can change, a, a procedure can change. Yes. But no, don't just say yeah, yes, repeat after me. A procedure can change. A, a procedure can, can, can change. Okay, all right, yeah, that's true. Anything else, any other ideas of how you can improve the manual at your workplace? Any idea? Okay, nothing else, nothing. Another, none, no other ideas of how you can improve the, your, your manual at the workplace? Okay. No? No, no ideas? No ideas, okay. All right, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be um, reading the conversation 
As usual, we're going to read it together as a class. Okay. All right, so it says here, read the following conversation about a staff meeting. Um, for this one, I'm like we normally do, I'm gonna ask everybody to close their microphones because I want you only to practice the conversation, but alone. Um, so that we're not having like many people, many different voices, otherwise we can't hear each other, okay? So everybody turn off their microphone, please. Okay, everybody make sure your microphone is turned off. There are, some, there are still some people that have their microphones on. So just be careful, please make sure you have the microphone off. Okay, so. All right, so we're going to start with the first part. That's, this, is, uh, well, this is actually a conversation between four people. So we have Sarah. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. First, Sir, please you know yeah. the correct way. To present the menu. Wouldn't it be better? If chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. And, and Sonia says after that, but don't have comma. Is correct. Uh, sorry, could you repeat the question again? In the dialogue this of Sonia. Mm -hmm. He say after that because don't have comma. Is it correct? Oh. Of course. Yes, it's correct. It is correct because in that case, uh, um. It's not, it's not, in this case, it's not really used as a transition per se. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not really used um, as a transition because if it would, it would be different if it was like this. Um, it, oops. 
it would be different if it was like this. <laughs> After that, uh, sorry, they I'm need to know how they need to present the menu like that. That would be okay. Then it then it would be um, then we would have to use that after that comma. But in this one, no, because it's not a transition. It's a, this is just like more like a it's a connector, but it's not a transition. Yeah, because right okay. here, this is not a sentence. This is, not a second, this is not a sentence. How they need to present the menu. That's not a sentence. This is a continuation of this sentence. Okay, teacher. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Look, okay, okay. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, wait a sec. Give me a moment. Sorry, guys. Um, me the conversation de Sara is different. Yeah, that's what I saw. Okay. Uh -huh. Sorry, guys. Okay. Ahorita mismo lo, lo corregimos. Ahorita mismo. Creo que se desconfiguró. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Uh, okay. All right. So here we go. Okay. I'm going to actually um, say the whole conversation again. I think it'll be easier. Okay. So uh, remember, microphones off. Make sure that no microphones are on so that we don't distract each other. Okay. We need to create the main steps. to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers. And after that, how they need to present to the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. All right, very good. Okay, so what we're gonna do as we usually do, write in the chat the words that you're not sure still how to pronounce them.
Disculpen, chicos, que estoy tratando de encontrar las palabras. Ah, ok. Okay. Um, oh. Sí. <laughs> Pensé que había terminado. Okay. That's it, right? Have we missed any other words? Okay. No more words, right? All right. So we'll start with the first one. And for this, I need you to open up your microphone because the idea is to practice. Like I want to hear you guys doing this. Okay, so open up your microphone. Hoy sí quiero bulla. No quiero escuchar una o dos vocecitas porque tengo, quiero ver cuántos tengo acá. A ver, tengo 22 eh, alumnos acá, así que quiero oír 22 vocecitas, ¿ok? Ok. All right. ¿Listo? Ready. Ready because, ok, and I still, I still see like half, half of you have not opened up your microphone. So I'm not going to be able to hear you if you don't open up your microphone. So half of you are ready, but the other half are not. Come on, guys, open up your microphone. Okay, because remember, the idea is I want to help you with the pronunciation. If I cannot hear you, I will not know if you are doing it correctly or not. And I don't know if I have to um, change something or not, okay? All right, here we go. First one, propose. Propose. Wouldn't. 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 I want you to keep in mind goodness. Please for a moment. Okay. For a moment so that we can listen to this question. The W is pronounced silent. The U is pronounced. The L is silent. And the D is pronounced. Wouldn't. 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 W
Good and good. Good and good. Good and good. Good and good. Good excellent. Next. Better. 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 Good. 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 Include. Good. 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 Include. 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 Uh, include. 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 Uh, include. 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 Yeah. Include. Yeah. Include. 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 Puedo yo corregir y decir, no es include, no es include. ¿verdad? Aunque realmente ni me dijo quién era que dijo, pero le da todos. ¿Ok? All right, so here we go. Let's continue. Code. 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 Appearance. 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 Chapter. 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 Anything else? Okay. Now I want you to write in the chat the uh, words that you don't know what the meaning. You can close your microphone. Close your microphones and write in the chat the words that you don't understand the meaning. Okay, parece que solo son estos dos. Okay, all right. Greet. Greet customers is to say hi to the customer. Okay, to say hi to the customer. So, um, so you can say hi, hello, good morning, good evening, um, welcome. That's to say hi. Okay. Okay, like greetings is like greetings, exactly. Greetings. Except that this is a verb. Greetings is a noun. 
and greet is the verb. The verb, okay. Okay. All right, next. We have include, very similar to Spanish. This is what we call a cognate because it's very similar to a word in Spanish. So include means in Spanish, in. Incluir. Incluir, exactly. A very useful tool Incluir. is to yes. look at the word and associate with a word that is similar to Spanish, okay? Not all the time, it doesn't work all the time, but many times it does. Okay, like maybe 80% of the time it will it will work. Okay. So hey, sure. associate with uh, something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you repeat the appearance? Uh, the pronunciation? No, the meaning. Oh, I haven't gone there yet. Todavía no llegado. Ah, okay. Okay. So so like I said, include is a, like a cognate, right? So it's very similar to Spanish. You can associate, okay? So when you don't know the meaning of a word, think if it looks like similar to Spanish, okay? And that brings me to the next word, which is also like a cognate. This word is very similar to a word in Spanish. Think about a word that looks similar in Spanish. Apariencia. Apariencia. Apariencia, right? So this is what, that's exactly what I mean. Appearance is exactly that, apariencia. Okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, very good. So, um, okay. Um, so let's continue here with the next part. We have the manual index here. It says read the context in a server's training manual. Okay, we're talking about a manual. Organize the topics to create the index of the manual on the right. Then present the index to the class and explain the reasons for your choice. Okay, so imagine that this is a manual and all of these were like the subtitles, setting a table, decanting wine, requesting a shift change, following the schedule, addressing kitchen personnel, getting to know the menu, dress code, addressing customers, about tips and taxes, prevention of accidents and safety. Okay, so if you were going to have to put these these um, subheadings in order for a, for a service training manual, what is the order that you would put them and why? Okay, so maybe you believe that the first one is dress code. Okay, good, number one, dress code, but why? What's the reason? Do we understand? Yes, yes repeat please okay so these are the titles or let's say the headings the information in the trainer's manual the service trainer manual put them in order organize them first second third fourth fifth finally okay put them what 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 is the order that you believe is the best one reason and why okay so over here, you can write number one, number two, number three, and so on. Do we understand? Yes, teacher, I. Yeah? We, we, we have organized the step. Exactly, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Okay. All right, guys, um, it's time already. So I'm going to leave this as homework. All you have to do is put them in the order that for you is more logical. That's it. Only put it the order. Okay, organize them. That's it. Super fácil. No les va a tomar ni cinco minutos. Okay, so please, if you're not finished, finish it for tomorrow. O sea, ya cuando estemos, cuando haya empezado la clase, creo, quiero que ya esté completo. No que lo estemos haciendo durante la clase. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. All right, good. Okay, entonces chicos, vamos a hacer el... The, the, the speedy um, attendance, okay? So please um, be listening carefully for your name, okay? Open your microphone so that it's, um, so that it's easy to, um, to do it as quickly as possible. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, Alejandra. Alejandra's on here. Okay, eh, Cristina. Huh? Present. Okay. Present. Good, excellent. Um, eh, Ani? Present. Mari? Present. Carolina? Present. Cristina? Present. Present. Sorry, uh, Christy. Sorry, uh, Christy. Uh, Gerson? Present. Karina? Present. Linda? Present. Julia? Julia? Okay. Marlene? Here. Mayra? Mayra? Okay. Miguel? Present. Present. Okay. Nelson? Present. Okay. Nelson, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, Norma? Present, teacher. Olga? Present teacher. Rafa? Rafa? Present teacher. Zenaida? Present teacher. Eh, Suleyma Rodriguez? Present teacher. Um, eh, Argelia? Present teacher. Nancy? Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karen. Present. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Carla. Present. Y Nelson. Okay. Okay, chicos, entonces eh, me quedaría ahí con Marlene. Okay, hoy le tocaría a Marlene. Y nos vemos para mañana. Okay. All right. Take care. Don't forget the homework. Okay. Take care. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, chicos. Everyone. Good night. Eh, Sul, Suleima, ¿alguna preguntita? No, teacher, good night. Oh, ok, all right, good night. Argelia, ¿tiene usted alguna preguntita? Argelia, ¿tiene alguna preguntita? Okay. Ahí está. Ok. Se okay Marlene, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está?
Bien, por aquí. Ya. Ay, qué bueno, qué bueno. Me cuenta. Mm, quiero ver. No. Todo es bien hasta ahorita. Todo bien ahorita. Sí, sí me siento súper cómoda, la verdad, con usted, porque anteriormente hemos tenido varios teachers como que no mucho. Pero sí, la verdad que me gusta. Solo que ahí es como un poco, um, un poco más tranquilo por los otros compañeros que van como un poco más calmados, que no le entienden y todo eso. Pero de ahí sí me gusta todo el, el, la clase que estamos, usted como la manera que enseña y todo eso. Me alegra que se sienta bien. Lo importante es eso, ¿verdad? Porque... Eh, que, que usted sienta que pues uh, va avanzando, que va aprendiendo, que verdad sí. y definitivamente que es un ambiente um, uh, preciso, verdad, para poder aprender, ¿verdad? porque sí. sí. Uh -huh. Ok, me alegra saber eso. Eh, y cuéntame qué qué obstáculos uh, ha encontrado en este módulo hasta el momento. Um, no podría decirse obstáculo porque, uh, o sea, le entiendo. Uh -huh. eh, sí, yo sé que nos pone a practicar también bastante. Ahí solo lo único que le decía, pues que como al principio de la clase del módulo que, que se ocasionó de que a algunos compañeros les cuesta más y todo eso. Cool. Pero sí, yo sé que todos estamos aprendiendo, pues, y que poco a poco uno se va... Eh, familiarizando con palabras nuevas, practicándolo y cosas así. Pero pues, yo siento que no, por cierto, hasta yo me pongo a ver como el libro, todos los links, porque hace como dos módulos atrás, eh, el teacher que teníamos sí nos enseñó a que viéramos los links para, para practicar y todo eso. Ajá. Y creo que fue en el módulo 3, si no me equivoco donde todos los links nos mandaban a, a enlaces como el que usted nos mandó. Ajá, sí, sí, correcto. Eh, de, hacer, ajá, de, de, de escuchar la conversación y, y responder. Ajá. Entonces siento que eso sí ayuda bastante. Ok, excelente, sí. En este no lo he encontrado, creo que solo salen como videos de YouTube. No ah. sale mucho de, de eso. Pero sí, me, me metí al link que usted nos mandó y, y sí es la misma página de eso. Sí, ajá, correcto. Correcto. Eh, sí, lo que pasa es que um, ahí quizá ya más entero, ¿verdad? Todo lo por, por diferentes, um, eh, diferentes niveles, ¿verdad? Si es, uh -huh. si quiere ser de principiantes, intermediate, um, avanzado, pero usted quiere uh -huh. decir, ah, no, pero es que no, eh, um, eso es tan demasiado fácil. Yo quiero ver si puedo un poco más. Entonces, allá los avanzados, ¿verdad? O dicen, uh -huh. No, eso está difícil, muy difícil. Entonces se va un poquito más abajo, ¿verdad? Se va a los primeros. Ajá. Ajá. Pero sí, eso sí ayuda bastante. Y a veces con, no, con escucharlos, casi que no, habían palabras que no se entendían, pero lo bueno es que está también en escrito la conversación. Exacto, Ajá. sí. Puede bien ser el guión para, para que le vaya dirigiendo. Ajá. Sí, pero de ahí yo pienso que todo está bien. Okay. Y, me siento cómoda, pues, en la clase. Ay, qué bien. Me alegra saber eso. Y acuérdese, cualquier sugerencia que usted pueda dar, eh, pues, bienvenida, ¿verdad? Porque esta es su clase, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O sea, yo solamente soy justo lo que dice la, la palabra, facilitadora, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, la idea es facilitarles el aprendizaje. Entonces, uh -huh. si usted siente en algún momento que algo le puede ayudar, ¿verdad? Que para poder ir avanzando, pues con gusto, ¿verdad? Lo, lo puede um, expresar, ya sea en la clase o por, um, por WhatsApp, ¿verdad? También puede ponerme un mensajito, ¿verdad? Okay. Directo, ¿verdad? O en el grupo, como ustedes, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Porque sí, sí. La idea es eso de que ustedes vayan avanzando, ¿verdad? Entonces... Uh -huh. ¿Y tiene alguna duda en cuanto a algún tema que hemos visto o en sí, en general, temas de, de inglés? 
Mm, no, creo que dudas sí no. Solamente que para eso, como usted no lo dijo la vez pasada, es normal como eh, saber qué, qué verbos utilizar en, en diferentes... Como el, lo que le preguntábamos de el, cómo se usaba el could y el might, el can, mm. el may o el get, todo eso. Pero yo sé que conforme vamos aprendiendo eso, eh, vamos a saber cómo diferenciar para qué se utiliza. Pero de ahí de los temas vistos hasta ahorita, todo está bien. Ok, ok, muy bien, muy bien. Sí, los moros, sí, eh, con los moros tenga, tenga paciencia porque son un montón y tienen todas diferentes funciones. No lo va a aprender de una sola vez, entonces uh -huh. les sugiero que solo se concentre con, el, con la función que se está viendo en ese momento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Estamos hablando, viendo la función de posibilidades. Ah, entonces, could, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Or can. Ah, entonces solamente, entonces usted ve que el could y el can se puede utilizar para, para, para posibilidades, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces estamos hablando, hablando, hablando de permisos. Entonces uh -huh. puede usar can y may. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero sí. Lo bueno es que, 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 bueno, que todos los módulos que vamos pasando se van como repitiendo y explicando aún más lo, los temas. Sí, correcto. Eso es cierto. Eso es muy cierto. Se, se van um, complementando, ¿verdad? Para Ajá, exacto. Sí, porque... Pero sí. Ok, okay uh -huh. me alegra saber eso. Eh, ¿Alguna inquietud que le pueda... Eso. No, no, todo, todo está bien. Vaya. Entonces, bueno, um, la felicito que está haciendo un muy buen trabajo, ¿verdad? Me completó todo lo que tenía que completar el día de ayer. Ah, sí. Gracias. Que nos vemos entonces para mañana. Uh -huh. Sí, está bien. Gracias. Right. Buenas noches. Buenas noches.